Hey, what's up? Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today we have the Cloner Alliance Flint 4KP, and this is a USB 3.0 video capture box for streaming HD videos, um, your video games, things like that to YouTube and other platforms. So we're gonna go ahead right now and let's take a look and see what's in the box. So here we have it. This is again the Cloner Alliance Flint 4KP. Uh, the go live stream your awesome moments now. Um, it actually supports 1080p at 60 frames per second capture. And uh, I mean that's that's pretty cool that it's you know 1080. It does say 4K, but 4K is just the pass through abil um, you know ability. So if you're running the Xbox One S that has 4K out, you can pass that through through the the box. It will capture 1080, send that off live stream, and then 4K back out to your TV if you have a 4K. So it's not going to capture in 4K. So keep that in mind. Uh, ultra low latency, and you can also do live commentary, which is kind of cool too. So we're gonna go ahead, see what's in here. Get rid of that. It's a HD capture box, so all right, pretty cool. In the box here, we have the starter manual to get everything going here. It talks about your registration. It also comes with some uh, software for you to use. Uh, and then you can scan as a QR code on the bottom from what I'm told. We'll check it out when we finish the unboxing. You scan that, it kind of links the software, you get to use that. And then it also shows you, you know, how to do your setups with either, either your uh, 4K television, you know, within the mix, um, or your video game console, video, uh, whatever you want to do and whatever you want to capture as well as plugging in a mic. So we got that. We also have, it says, thanks for choosing Cloner Alliance. You get some special privileges, live chat for support. That's pretty cool. Need help and uh, have some more QR codes for tech experts. So that's always helpful. Some places don't even support it. They're like, you know, good luck or you have an online, you know, a submission form. It's like, yeah, good luck getting that set up. Anyway, so also in the box right here, you'll see we have our USB 3.0 hookup. So there's a nice little cable that's probably about um, maybe about a two or three feet maybe. Right there, we have some extensions. So we have a USB extender right there, as well as some additional connectors that you can see depending on what you need to extend and connect to. So if you have multiple uh, things you have to you know connect to, you have those options as well. And then in the box here, anything else down here. So before we open the actual unit itself, we have another HDMI, HDMI cable to add to my collection of HDMI cables. So we got that, that's all nicely wrapped up. So if you don't have one um, or you need an additional one for your pass-through, don't worry, it's all right there. And the USB cable is obviously gonna you know, plug into your computer. And this is not something that has Wi-Fi built in as far as I know. So you have to run it through a computer and it's, uh, it works with a bunch of different encoding softwares, including paid ones, and it looks like also open source ones, so you can use that to be able to stream to like YouTube and Twitch and, and all those different platforms. So here it is right here. This kind of looks a lot like, um, like a Roku box that's been, like the older XS model that's kind of been squished down, uh, about the same size, really cool looking uh, red. And again, we have an in, out here, see that? 4K support, 1080 capture though, keep that in mind. We have our QR code to get the software all uh, situated and set up. And then we have line out, mic, and then line in, as well as the USB connector, which is gonna be your interface for the computer. So there you go, that's what's in the box of the Cloner Alliance 4KP USB 3.0 video capture device. We're gonna check it out, see how hard the software is to set up, and really see how well this performs. Um, we have an Xbox One, I don't have an S to, or a 4K TV to really check it out, but since we're not capturing to the software in 4K, let's just see how it performs with 1080, and let's see how it streams. So make sure to check out that video. Don't forget to, you know, uh, smash the like button right here and also, you know, subscribe to our channel. And thanks so much. And that, again, is what's in the box. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.